Well, here we are in the new R&D test facility at MTU Friedrichshafen. This project started in mid-2011. The groundbreaking ceremony was in May 2013 and the building housing the first three test stands was finished in 2015. Right now we've just completed development stage 1, that means three test stands delivering 2500 kilowatts. We can also extend three test stands delivering 4500 kilowatts of engine power and a tilting test stand in addition. We can prepare the engines for trials elsewhere in the new R&D test facility and utilize the test stands more efficiently. The 360 degree camera that acts on two levels is a real innovation. We also have a new touch screen, so we don't need a mouse anymore. We just point a finger to operate the panel. We've got five test stand computers to record between 150 and 170 metrics, such as temperatures, pressures, engine coolant temperatures, etc. At the moment, we've got a 12V series 4000 marine engine up on the test stand. But we can actually test engines for any kind of application, C&I engines, rail engines or even genset engines, like we have on the neighboring test stands here. We measure temperatures and pressures for the most part, as you can see from all the little lines behind us. However, air and exhaust gas data are recorded as well. Our main objective is to determine emission levels to ensure that the engine meets statutory requirements later on. Component testing is another focus of attention. Smooth interaction between all the component parts of the engine is key to ensuring that the engine keeps its promises after handover. Exhaust after treatment is essential if we can't or don't aim to meet exhaust emission standards by means of in-engine technology alone. Then we install an SCR after treatment system as we see here. It reduces nitrogen oxide emissions and gives us a bit more freedom when it comes to fine-tuning engine fuel consumption. We installed a combustion air conditioning system for the test stands to let us tune the engines properly. It allows us to run tests at consistent temperature and humidity levels all year round. In development stage 1, the stands are only capable of testing diesel engines at present, but we're just in the process of setting up a gas supply to let us run gas engines as well come 2016.